So the last time I tried explaining Redux to you guys, you did not like it very much. So here is take two. So Redux is all about a store. That store stores your application's state. And that store changes when you dispatch an action. So it is all about the action dispatches and the store changes. And that is all of Redux. Now you know it. But there are some nuances. Like you need a reducer function in order to change the store. Now let's dive into the code. So first of all, you create the store. And this is a command. Then you create some actions. Now actions are plain JavaScript object which contain types as a property and this type denotes the action that is being dispatched along with some data. Now you provide this thing to the reducer function. This reducer function now uses switch statement in order to figure out which action is actually dispatched and based on that it actually transforms the state of the store. And this is how you do it. Once that happens, your store contains the final state of the application which you can use in all of your component in whatever framework you are using. Redux is framework agnostic. You can use it in Angular. You can use it in React. But yes, React is the framework which uses Redux heavily. So now you know what is Redux and how to use it. So in case you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such tidbits about how to use particular libraries and how to learn some tasty web development tips. I see you guys over in the next video.